Hello viewers, Miss Cal here. This is the first um, circuit board I've ever made. And I uh, used the um, edge resistant pen. And there's so much copper that was left on the board and little spots and stuff that I was very disappointed with it. I thought I'd try the toner transfer method. So I drew this up. I'm trying to make a laser saber jewel ring a crossover but using... Uh, a proper circuit board rather than using um, you know jumper leads and stuff because jumper leads become uh, little antennas in themselves and the circuit won't behave as it will you know or uh, properly um, built with um, built with um, clips so this was done using uh, ammonium persulfate and as I said the etch resistant pen uh, I did it in a jar upside down so bubbles collected in spots and left little dots of if I hold that up to the light you'll see just how messy that is uh, so I drew that drew that up in uh, Microsoft Paint and inverted the image so that the words came out the wrong way that was printed on a inkjet obviously um, inkjet doesn't work you need toner toner has a plastic in it um, and I read that using shiny magazine paper as opposed to using the proper press and peel or expensive uh, transfer stuff is, is doable so I used some shiny magazine paper and I got this tangled in the laser printer um, I had to go digging to pull this out it wasn't the first bit I got stuck in there so uh, but this was the one that came out the best and after getting several bits tangled I gave up on uh, trying to get one to spit out without bending so uh, what I'm going to do now is preheat I've cleaned this with uh, a scouring pad like a kitchen scouring pad and acetone to remove any um, what would you call it any uh, oils or grease that would stop the toner sticking to the board and also prevent etching so I'm going to place that onto there iron it on firstly preheat the uh, preheat that and then put that on iron it on nice soak it in water hopefully it'll come away and leave a nice toner mark just going to fold that over there been preheating the iron and we'll just press that on there let it sit there and warm that up okay so I've had that on there for about a minute just going to uh, put the camera down and gently uh, try and get this on there So I've had it soaking for a little while, probably only a minute or something, and uh, peeling off things are looking pretty good, from what I can tell. So I'll just soak it a bit longer. I don't want to rush this, I've never done this before, so. Looks like it's working. Well, I'm pretty happy with that, but I didn't get um, 
very good resolution on the words maybe I rubbed it a little bit too hard I'm not sure um, but for a bodgy first attempt it looks like it's going to come up a lot better than than uh, this mess so this is the etched um, oxidizer that will dissolve the copper uh, it says one part crystals to five parts water and uh, 70 degrees so I'll get me a thermometer put some crystals in there I'm just going to boil the jug um, when it's about 80 uh, 75 I'll throw the the board in and move it around with my stick Water's taking on a bit of a bluish tinge. Bubbles are appearing on the surface. We're about a minute in now. Okay, we're starting to lose the copper and see through the board. I was going to add a bit more hot water, but I'm not sure I need to. So I'll just keep agitating it. It's really starting to come clear now. Yep, I won't need more hot water by the looks of things that's it it's etched so I've rinsed all the persulfate off and I'll just uh, scrub it lightly with a scouring pad and then tin it and drill it that's it done well that worked brilliantly now I've got to drill it and that's it Not sure if you can see that.